finally, Peter Gozinia has come back to YouTube after a long-awaited hiatus. He was drawn out specifically by these two fucking jerk-offs that you're looking at right in front of the camera. Woo! If you smell what Peter is pooping on the poop cast, fuck yeah. Here we go, baby. Yeah, it's good to be back. Hey, that reminds me. Look at that fucking shit. <clears throat> I always like that. Man, this reminds me of the fucking uh, heyday in the wrestling. I mean, look at that. Look at that shit with the rock, man. Like, where are these guys, man? I remember back watching that guy back in the day. Now he's a fucking douchebag actor, whatever. But fucking just brings you back, man. Like, where? Anybody a wrestling fan in the, in the fucking in the golden era of wrestling in the 90s? Jesus Christ. Brings me back. <clears throat> My God. Anybody grew up in the 90s who's listening? Anybody out there tuning in? I don't know. There's got to be one or two of you. But uh, Jesus Christ. Anybody remembers that? Fucking phenomenal time, man. Remember the 90s? Remember that decade of just like pure you could do whatever the fuck you want? It was the last great decade where you had freedom. Where you didn't have any fucking Facebook. You didn't have cancel culture and all this shit. You had the most phenomenal music coming out you could fucking just go fucking do whatever it's awesome you could go and you could go up to a girl and you could say hey that's a nice asshole you got there and you wouldn't get in trouble it's like it's not a big deal You're just goofing around fuck it right we were like you know you you when you were a, even before that when you were a kid you, you didn't have this fucking your phone on the hip you had to go out and communicate with people you had to go talk to people you had to go approach a girl out at a bar and, and you had you guys knew what social graces were you know none of this shit you have today i remember back in the oh it's great you know all the great music in the 90s and we were on the verge of that dot-com revolution but it wasn't quite yet there yet we didn't really know it was coming so everything was still you know real you know fucking the rock and the wrestling the fuck remember remember the fucking wcw where the fuck are all the what, what, like even hulk Hogan? Where, where's the goddamn nwo i mean that sucks we had that we had Ric Flair in his fucking prime. Jesus Christ, we had all these fucking bands and good times and concert venues. Even the fucking Sunset Strip had fucking balls. Still, in the late 90s, man. But what happened? Then it's like, ah, oh God, right? It, it, it all was going good. Then it's like, that was the last of the great decades. Then 2000 hits, and then it's like, oh, boy. It's slowly fucking dwindling out. Slowly fucking going the other way. Then... Then it's like the fun just get, our lives just got yanked away. All the fun got when it start going away, and then you know you know here we go with the you know the shitty music starts to come out after the turn of the fucking millennium, right? And then you and then you get to you, well, remember that shit MySpace. Remember that shit? I had one of those profiles. Fuck. And then and then it and that was cool. You could fucking do whatever, man. Remember remember picking up chicks on MySpace. All that shit. Holy shit. I remember bringing one chick back to my apartment that I fucking pulled off of MySpace. It was great. You could say whatever you want. You wouldn't get kicked off. And then, and then the goddamn uh, uh, fucking Facebook and then the fucking Zuckerberg shit. And then it's like, okay, wow. Then the generations that, that we grew up with, uh, you know, they're just like slowly getting married and everything's fizzling out. Then then, then they had kids. Thank God I never had any. But then they got kids. And then it's like, then, then their kids are having kids, and then it's like, oh my god, then you go from 2005, 6, 7, 8, and then everything's just kind of beginning, uh, what are we doing here? I, I gotta watch my step, and then fucking, what else? What, what else? what else went on in the last fucking 20 years that's memorable? Fucking absolutely nothing. We got Rihanna. We have uh, Justin Bieber. What the fuck? And then it's like, all oh, this other bullshit. And then it like fucking morphs into, uh, you know, everybody's going online. Nobody goes out to bars anymore. Nobody goes out to concerts. You know, it's just like, and then everybody becomes a fucking wimpy puss bag, runs their fucking mouth on posts and forums. Then they get the YouTube shit. And then, let's see what else. And then I get, you got the Me Too movement. And then that fucking just like, all right, you got to watch your step with everything. And there's no more fun in the world. And then COVID hits. And then you get the rise of these jackasses like these two fucking clowns. Like, these two cup fucking clowns with channels. And because they have no lives and they fucked up their lives, made a lot of fucking mistakes, they think that this is a redemption. 
And then we get into everybody yelling at each other on the other side of a Zoom camera. And that's the world. And it's, see how I went to shit in a short amount of time. And I'm sure I left out a lot in there. Fill in the gaps in the comments. What was your favorite decade? My fucking favorite decade was the motherfucking 90s. At least we had fucking Pantera. So anyway, I had to make an appearance. <clears throat> had to make a fucking appearance. And I've been doing a little fucking drinking too. Because you got to get lubed up to fucking, uh, you know, go through something like this. Another burp coming. Hang on. Uh, Let me squeak it out. <clears throat> All right. So, reason why I'm making an appearance here. Once again, my motherfucking name was mentioned in, you know, I can't keep track. I don't even know that this shit goes on. It's funny. I, I, I My symphony of destruction is is uh is is in full effect here and uh weird west i'm giving a shout out to fucking weird west that motherfucker who has a he's cool he has like a kid he's in, i think he's in california somewhere he's got this fucking uh karaoke channel it's some of the worst shit that you ever it but it's funny he's such a horrible singer but it's fucking funny as hell to watch and you know it's sometimes bad is good but anyway weird west he uh he's always like leaving comments and shit and he's like he left a comment the other week and i'm like he's like did you hear that fucking uh pedro almost saw red when your name was mentioned again on this udm <clears throat> on this udm's fucking thing i'm like oh my god i gotta fucking check this out you know i i, I don't go on any of these assholes channels i don't give a fuck about my own channel it's just fucking stupid it's just pissing out of my ass it's just fun i only do this when i'm fucking lubed up and drinking hang on let me get a swig yeah, a little whiskey. What do you guys like out there? I, uh, Crown. It's my favorite whiskey. You know, <clears throat> a little black tooth grin from time to time. Look that up if you don't know what the fuck that is. But anyway, back to these two these two jerk-offs. So, what was I saying? What was I saying? Okay, so Weird West messages me. Did you see this? And I'm like, no, I gotta fucking check. So I, you know, I was doing some work here. And I'm like, I gotta fucking... Every time my name's mentioned, I'm gonna like... I, I, I need to get credit... Or I need to take credit because these assholes won't give me any, so I'll fucking take it. <laughs> Not that I give a fuck. Who cares? <laughs> so anyway, I watched this shit, and there I'm like, oh my god, this is fucking funny. I was laughing my ass off at this stupid, I don't know what you call this is. It's like a girl chant, tampon changing fucking session. I don't know what it is. I can't believe two grown men, I mean, I guess you could call them men. One's more of a, I think, a, I would classify as a man versus the other one. And I guess, like, take a wild guess who I'm fucking referring to there. But I was watching this, and you have to be fucking drinking a few, or, you know, maybe you guys smoke out there. I don't know what you do to get, you know, I never was into that. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta be entertained and be into it. So I'm like, I'm watching this, I'm like, oh my god. So I, 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 I'm not gonna play the whole fucking thing. I didn't even listen to the whole thing. But uh, there's like three spots where I'm mentioned here. Three fucking spots. And and the funny part of this whole thing, this fucking, you know, everybody knows why I think of Pedro, door douche, San Diego. The fucking door douche. He was the Uber douche. Remember when he got fired for driving around with his fucking sick with COVID? And then they fired him. So he had to go to Uber and he was crying like a little bitch. And, uh, you know, then we, then, then we had to rebrand him uh, Pedro, Uber douche. Because he, he's a fucking Uber douche. It kind of fits. But but I don't know what this was about. Apparently, these assholes are really into drama, dramatic TV. It's like a soap opera. Everybody's fighting with one another. It's fucking funny if you're really into this. I can't even believe people still subscribe and watch this bullshit. But that's what it is. It's just a bunch of fucking dramatic bullshit. So, uh, I, I heard of this UDM, and I used to fucking forward him all, like, when I cranked this fucking Pedro, and I'd make, make fun of him on my stupid videos, and i just send him, you know, I, I know he was watching him, because he mentioned me in there, and then, so, to make a long story short, these two fucking jerk-offs have a beef with one another, and it is funny to watch two supposed grown men go back and forth and trying to hash it out. Because it's like, first of all, who gives a fuck about either one of them? And why would either one of them care? And I get it. It's entertainment. That's what this channel is based off of. I'm just fucking here to fucking be like dancing monkey on you. But I, I, get, I get off on it too. It's kind of funny. But um, any time I mention in the, in the same sense, in the sentence of fucking uh, Pedro Dordouche San Diego, 
Uh, I got a comment on it, and here was a classic one. And again, uh, shout out to Wes, Weird Wes. He is a fucking weirdo. But shout out to Weird Wes for sending me this because I would never have known about it. And this is some goddamn funny ass shit. Let me tell you. So, like I said, I don't know what the fucking problem is, but I had to get in there and, and check out where I mentioned. So I mentioned I had to skip through it. So. At 20 minutes and 18 seconds, now I didn't cut this video up because I don't have time for this bullshit, but I had a fucking comment on this, so I'm going to try to get through this quick and uh, hit the fucking hot buttons. Content creator, I'm, I'm trying to help people feed their families in my own way. <laughs> I did a whole rant Pathetic. of video telling, telling y'all, all content creators <clears throat> in the gig space, stop fighting each other. I did a whole rant. <laughs> Why not? It's fun. It's fucking fun, and you know you want to fight them. You know you want to fight each other because it gives you clicks, likes, and it gets your viewership. Oh, my God. These people are so full of shit. What the... Okay, first of all, what the fuck is UDM? What does that stand for? Uber, dickhead, MAGA? I don't know. What What the fuck is that? What What does that mean? Is his, is his name Ulysses DeMont? Marshall is that his fucking name? I don't what's his fucking what is that? It's so fucking stupid and I guarantee you this asshole has has Dre headphones on. What do you want to bet those are what are they doc? Remember that remember that fucking has been actually he's one of the better rappers that ever existed. I, you know find all the bullshit that's out today. But I bet he has Dre headphones on or some shit. What what is that called? I don't even know. Man, the fucking whiskey's talking. But uh I don't know, like, uh, he just kind of irks me, but the thing is, he's kind of calm, and he and he goes at Pedro in a way that's like, you know what, I, I would rather hang out with this UDM than fucking Pedro any fucking day of the week, and I wouldn't hang out with either one of them, because they're both fucking just stupid assholes, they're just stupid assholes, this UDM, he's just trying to, he just like, the whole thing with him, he just over talks Pedro the whole time. And then, and then, you know, I don't, I don't know what the point is, but he's, he has a fucking nugget up his ass about something. And uh, let's just watch where my name's mentioned here. And saying the, the company's looking at, looking at us like fools. <clears throat> what makes you think I'm coming at you like, like you're not, like you're not, Wait, that's not like you're not taking care of the, the company's looking at, looking at us like fools. What makes you think that you like, oh, I'm talking about your daughter. Like you not like you not you not like you not taking care of your daughter. I'm not Peter Gozinia. Oh! Peter Gozinia is over there doing videos about you over and over and Ooh, over look and at over. Him. He's hot. I'm not Peter Gozinia. He I'm not recovered. trying to come at your neck, bro. I never try to come at your neck. All right, let's first of all, did you see that reaction of the fucking Uber douche there on the right? That fucking that that monkey fuck. He's su that banana sucking monkey. That that I look at it, he's, he's got hair coming out of his fucking nostrils, his eyeballs, his ears. Forget about it on top of his head. I mean, I the guy could just I mean, he could wear an ape suit and nobody would know any different, you know? It's it's it, but look, did you see the anger? Watch when my name was fucking mentioned. This fucking addict degenerate is not cured, and this is proof. Look at this motherfucker when my name is mentioned. Watch. Watch this. I never go did back. a video Let's go back. fighting each other. Here we go. I did a whole rant. Wait a minute. Where was it? 20? And saying the, the company's looking at, looking at us like Here fools. It comes. Here it comes. What makes you think I'm coming at you like, oh, I'm talking about your daughter. <laughs> Like you're not, like you're not, you're not, like you're not taking care of your daughter. I'm not Peter Gozinia. What's Peter Gozinia is over the, doing the videos about you oh, over and over and over and over. I'm not Peter Gozinia. <laughs> I'm not trying to come at you. No, let me think you. Do you think that this guy would put a hit out on me? Do you think he would beat me with a baseball bat? Do you think he would beat me to death with a bat if he was given ha half the chance and he could get away with it? Well, you know what? We're going to mention the fucking Texas boxing match that this motherfucker... Again, I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go. And it's probably, good, it's probably the alcohol talking here. I don't really give a shit. But anyway, Pedro, if, I'm, if you're that hot, if you're that fucking hot, which is my name being mentioned, okay, you, you fuck, why did you puss out and back out of the challenge that you made, you fucking wimpy vagina hair cocksucker? Why didn't you fucking show up when you said you were gonna? I accepted your fucking challenge. 
And I had a spot picked out down by the Colorado River here in Austin. Nobody would know we're down there. And we can do it mano y mano. What fucking happened? Why did you run your mouth? And you, Well, we, you know what? I just answered my own question because he's a puss bag. He's a fucking low-life degenerate, sexaholic, druggy, crack-slinging fucking dope dealer from fucking goddamn St. Louis that's recovering, and he's a goddamn, he's a, he's a sheep in wolf's clothing. Actually, no, it's the other way around. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> you can't get these catchphrases right when you when you when you when you're uh, fucking drinking and trying to do a uh, fucking podcast or whatever the shit show is. He's a he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's the fucker that is so fucked up in his life because he's done all kinds of crazy shit and he's looking. Like I said, I I said this over and over. This motherfucker. He, he, he's got you all fooled. He's got all the stupid people out there fooled. I, he doesn't fool me because it takes one of these assholes to know one. But the fucking thing about the difference between me and you, uber douche, is I admit my faults and I'm comfortable in my own fucking skin and I don't fucking apologize for it. And that's what makes me fucking stronger and tougher than you, motherfucker. You, you fucking phony. You come across like you're this cured monkey like you went through this and you're so positive, but you are fucking nut positive. You're the furthest motherfucking thing from it, okay? And right there, that reaction, you ain't cured. Give him five minutes, he'll be back jerking off the fucking online porn. He'll be calling up his fucking hookers on speed dial and he'll be cheating on that fucking little baby high school girlfriend that he knocked up and he got pregnant and now he has another fucking... We have another... Uber do San Diego a little munchkin that the world doesn't need flat out and that's a fucking another thing man he's worried about me making fun of his daughter I never once made fun of this fucking guy's daughter it was never about that okay what I did Pedro and listen up because I know you're fucking stupid assholes listening to me I pity your daughter I feel sorry for your daughter because she's got you and that other fucking one as a father. I mean, that is pathetic. That is pathetic. I would fucking be like, you got to be shitting me. This is my father, Pedro Dordouche. I'm going low, motherfucker. And boy, I know that pisses you off. I know I got to you. But you know what? There's always one way to stop it. You could have fucking came to Texas and you could have backed up your little threat. That You know, you drew the line in the sand. You didn't think you didn't you didn't think I was gonna come back at you. You motherfucker, you draw first blood. Where are you? You might not want to think we might want to think twice about doing that to the wrong fucking guy next time. You might want to think twice, wow, maybe I shouldn't have fucked with this guy. He's gonna hold me to it. But nope. Nope. So I'm trying to skip through and avoid listening to these retards talk in an excessive fashion. So there's a spot here, what is it, twenty-four I mentioned again. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's just get through it. That's what I should have done. That's on me. But I still read that message. Like, why are you even bringing my, like, the, to put the top, the word daughter in their family, you're telling me to, like, just focus on them. That's implying that I'm not. That's how I look at it. Right or wrong, I'm prideful. That's just how it is. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm super prideful. Right? <laughs> that was the spot. That was the spot. So, I can't believe I finally found, I, this explains everything and ties everything together. I have got pre- previous experience with Puerto Ricans. Growing up in the fucking Northeast, uh, you all know it's infected with Puerto Ricans and Dominican Dominicans like a goddamn fucking, you know, somebody kicked over a fucking goddamn anthill. Okay, you know, when you go, it's the same thing in other parts of the country. When you go down south or out west, it's a lot of Mexicans, Central Americans. You get, you know, you know, guys, where I'm getting at. But up in the Northeast, you got all these fucking Italians and then you get the Puerto Ricans and the Dominicans. Oi, and I have fucking previous experience with these Puerto Ricans. I worked with them, you know, when I was younger. And, you know, you, you know, you hump and, you know, do whatever job. But holy fucking shit, they're good workers. But wow, they are fucking hotheads. It's our, they have the shortest straw you can imagine. And, and they, are, they fucking want to roll and fight right away. And it isn't just one. I didn't just meet two. I didn't just meet three. Every fucking single younger one that I've ever met has a fucking, is a hothead. And this explains why this guy rants and yells 
and acts like a fucking girl and is all over the place and fucking just is an emotional wreck. And then he's like, no, I'm apologizing for it. I didn't mean that. If you listen to this fucking jerk offs podcast here, I'm not going to go through the whole fucking thing. But this jerk off is like apologizes for flipping out on UDM or whatever and this and that or everything. And, it, and it's like, this is why he goes off the rails and he, he is not fucking cured. Okay. Can you imagine this guy? I bet, I bet he was, I bet we might even cross paths at some point. You know, I lived in New York City for a lot of years and this fucking asshole, you know what's so irking about New York City? That Puerto Rican Day Parade. I remember that. Everybody steered clear of the city and got out of town. But it's like fucking thunder. Anyway, shit. Anyway, the, the goddamn, that, that Puerto Rican, pro- I bet this guy was fucking there with the goddamn flag, fucking shoving it up everybody's face and everything. Can you imagine that? Everybody in New York just wanted to get the fuck out of the city when that thing took place because it's like, Jesus Christ, here we fucking go. We got to put up with another fucking goddamn pride event, right? And it's like, every, it's like, dude, I, can you imagine? I bet this guy actually went to those fucking things and waved the flag. You know, I bet he's there and he's just like, people are like, I just want to break that stick off and shove it up his fucking ass and ship him back if he even fucking came there. And that's another thing. These goddamn Puerto Ricans. Do you ever look into that? How they became a legal citizen, how they have dual citizenship automatically. I don't know the specifics. Again, I'm drinking, but I looked it up a while ago. And it's something the effect was, goes back to World War I, that the United States, when we were putting together our military, you know, we weren't a superpower by any means at that, at that time in the early 1900s. So we, we you know, the, the, the wars and the fucking conflicts were going on. So we needed... We need it. Someone, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, somebody fucking look this shit up. It's a fucking true thing. But we needed like troops. We needed more people. So we went to for some reason. We went to Puerto Rico and we offered uh, fucking dual citizenship if these assholes will come over here and join the fucking military. And there's a loophole that they're like, yeah, thanks. We're gonna give you dual citizenship, and it's never been closed since. That's that's the research that I did. Somebody point me if I'm wrong about that. But that's that's just a fucking wrong. That should have been righted, and it 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 never has it never has happened, you know. Look at that! Look at the bullshit with their fucking uh, hurricanes and all the earthquakes. We gotta go over and send them money. Here's another goddamn country that we gotta send money to, but they're not a motherfucking state. Why? Why? Anyway, I'm getting off on the tangent here, but I was laughing when I found out this guy was a Puerto Rican. That explains an ungodly amount of shit i can't even believe it i cannot even fucking believe it let's move on so and then when you're talking about shots fired i'm like all right so what i did was so i I triggered this guy you want to shot you want to fire some shots i'm just going to go nuclear like i said this morning i saw red so when this guy sees here's my name mentioned he sees red this is not a guy that is a calm personality this is not Mr. Positivity. This isn't a guy that's come out of rehab and is fucking cured. This is not a guy that can keep his dick in his pants. This is a guy that will not go down to the clinic and get zipped so he won't fucking reproduce other fucking degenerates like him. This is not him. But he wants you to think that. He wants you fucking morons to think that. So he throws me under the bus and he uses me as an excuse to get fucking mad and red. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see if any fucking psychologist would buy that as a fucking legitimate excuse, right? Right, I saw red. When I see red, I, pa- Hoodie Pedro comes out. And what a I, douchebag, Hoodie Pedro. And that's what I did. And the one thing I can say, I apologize, is like me, my ego was like pff, ridiculous saying, all right, you, we don't need you to Yeah, you think you, you think you fucking got one anyway. So that's, that, that's where it was the second time I was mentioned. So there's another one let's see where it is it's tw- oh this is a good one so this one i'm gonna let it play it goes from like 25 minutes to 20 it's like two minutes straight he rants about me and it starts around 25 20, 25 12 i think it is and it, i swear i you know I, I would normally have time to cut this up but i don't give a fuck right here i'm gonna play it right here see watch this he goes off third time i mentioned i've been doing this a long time scapegoat you help a lot of people but Pussy. i was angry right i'm a man i wore my heart on my sleeve I don't, you know. Really? Is that what you call it? You're a man. You wear your heart in your sleeve, so that gives you an excuse to get fucking angry and fucking go off like a girl. Okay, all right. Just I'm, I'm, I'm getting the door douche logic here. I forgot. You got to bet on you. You got to, you, you, whatever the fuck he says. I don't know. I'm not gonna apologize for being angry. I'm not gonna apologize. Yeah, of course for you don't. Red, because that's the reality. That's what happened. Because you're degenerate. Right? And the only reason I didn't take the video down right away 
and I didn't at you when I first started the video. Because you can't get clicks, likes, and subscribers, and because you rely on your stupid YouTube check to fucking pay your way in life. Okay, that's why. Okay, just so we know. All right, got it. It wasn't it. a live. Yeah. It wasn't a scheduled live. It was impromptu. I was, I was mad. It's coming, folks. I had a weak moment, but I, that was me. Oh, that's one of them. Which one? You had many of those. Oh, fucking a. Passionate dude. And when somebody's like, even mentions my kid, then you mention Peter goes in you, and we you go. know <laughs> that that is a channel that has made a hundred videos about me. First of all, I've never made a hundred videos about this asshole. I don't know where that shit comes from. Number one, I think there's like literally maybe 15 videos I made on this asshole. And you can go fucking count them up on my goddamn channel. I could be wrong, but I don't, you know, like maybe at the most it could be 20. I don't even think it's that. It might be. But 100, Pedro? No. Has merchandise with my face on it. <laughs> I did, I called did. called my phone, harassed me, said sideways stuff about my daughter. So There it is. So here it is again. You hear that, what he said? I have mentioned this shit. Countless times. And this guy wants to talk about me saying a bunch of shit about him that's not true. And talking crap and not on my ass. And everybody wants to say I'm full of shit and this and that. Here we go again, dude. Pedro, if you're listening, and I know you are, you motherfucking egotistical fucking degenerate monkey. You goddamn caged monkey. I've never once, and I can fucking swear on a polygraph on this. If I was into religion, I'd put my hand on a Bible, but I'm not. I'm just saying, all the other fucking cookie-cutter crap that you fucking assholes will say. If I had kids, I'd swear on them. But I don't. Thank God. I was smart enough. I'm smarter than these two idiots. You know, I learned how to pull out. I learned how to wear a fucking rubber. I wear, I, you know, I, I, I kind of got that down. Okay, let's get on with it. I never called you on the phone or crank called you in my life one time. You want to think that I did, you addict, you fuck, but I never did, okay, and I don't know how many times I can say it, but he just doesn't want to, he doesn't want to believe that, because he's listening to me go off and basically say, look, I never did that, this guy's so foolish, he reminds me of Roy, Roy made all these fucking generalizations, remember the fucking bullshit that I made, these assholes, like, you think I think I'm fucked up, you guys are so fucked up, it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable, that's why I got to sit here and fucking defend myself. Because these you, you, you people are fucking nuts. This Roy goes off on a tangent, threatens my threatens me to kick my ass on it. Man, you watch the fucking video. This guy, and he doesn't want to apologize. Roy's like too weak-minded to fucking apologize for when he's wrong. Okay, we're not going to make a video here about Roy. I've been shitting on that guy enough because he turned into something undesirable and really fucking boring. Okay? He's just like the rest of the herd. But Pedro, you're the king of the fucking shit bags. I never once mentioned, wait, what did he say? Calling him. I never once called and crank called him. There are plenty of people who I know who did. And they, you know why? I don't really give a fuck. They fucking think that this is cool and they want to get on my good side for whatever reason because I'm like fucking nobody. But they fucking tell me, hey, I cranked this fucking live stream tonight. You should have seen this. I'm like, okay, good for you. Go fuck off. I don't, I don't want to hear it. It's funny. I never once called you, door douche. You know, I don't know who's doing it, but somebody is having a fucking field day, and they're probably watching this, listening this right now, and laughing their asses off. And it's pretty goddamn funny. It's impressive, like, to fucking pull the wool over this asshole. But then I'm thinking he's stupid. Anybody can pull the wool over this guy. So I never once called and cranked you, okay? Let's... Get, again, I'm just putting it out there. It's fucking hilarious. Well, I saw red because I see family, mm. take care of your daughter, and then right after that, word daughter is Peter goes in you. What the so fuck? I, I was hot, bro. I was hot. I when the fuck did I say anything derogatory? You fucking take that clip and you put it anytime I've ever said anything derogatory about your, your daughter or a minor or your kid. If anything I said, and I'm going to say it, and this is where I'm going to get you, Pedro, you fucking asshole. I heard what you fucking said about how, oh, you're, you're annoying, the, you're, you're uh, not paying attention to naysayers and all the negativity and blah, blah, blah. I'm positive, Pedro. Bullshit. I know where to get you, motherfucker. Because number one, I didn't say anything derogatory about your daughter. I pity your daughter and your fucking older one that you claim you have or whatever the fuck from your second or third i don't know how many fucking kids he's got like seven or eight kids from there from all different fucking women it's amazing i don't know how he's got to have like a spreadsheet where he keeps track of them 
I don't know. I got to visit this one this week. Another one. Oh my God, he's a full. This is why he's dashing all the time. He can't afford to do fucking anything else. Anyway, I never said anything derogatory about your daughter, and I don't say anything derogatory about kids. I pity your daughter or your daughters or your children because they have you as a father. You are a fucking low life loser. How do you not figure out at a point in your life, Pedro, to go get snipped? To go get a fucking vasectomy, you fucking... This guy, I can imagine when he was younger, he's got his dick out of his pants and he's, and he's fucking just waving it in front of any, any, any chick that I'll give him a time of day. Can't... I, I, I don't know who would, because look at the guy. What the fuck? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, now he's probably heading up to the zoo, because I know he's the manager at the fucking St. Louis Zoo in the monkey fucking section. He's the fucking head CEO of the primate cages. You know? So I, I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. But number one, the gall of this motherfucker just to default me because he knows I don't like him. And I don't. I think he's this fucking degenerate scumbag. But I don't have time to be cranking this asshole. But there are plenty of losers in his own chat that infiltrate the system that fucking hate this guy. Trust me. And it's more than 10. It's more than 20. It's probably more than 50. So, Pedro, you're not liked by a lot of fucking people. I hate to tell you. I know it's going to fucking... You're probably going to have to go to your fucking hippie therapist. And you're going to have to go up in the fucking mountain. You're going to have to fucking grow your hair an inch longer. Because, you know, I don't, I don't know what that's about. It's like Grateful Dead fan. I know the gray is coming into your fucking beard. And you're getting older now because you are 50. So it's like, dude, when are you going to fucking grow the fuck up and start taking responsibility for how you're, how you're just a basic fuck up in life and you're trying to hide behind a computer and your YouTube channel to let everybody, it's your redemption. You, you, you get off on clearing your conscience with your fucking YouTube channel. That's all it comes down to. That's all it fucking comes down to. And he wants to basically throw me under the bus because he doesn't have anything else. So... With that being said, let's finish this up, and then I got a comment. I am going to comment on his fucking family and his motherfucking kids. Wait for it. Get that? Right or wrong, whatever. I was hot because there's history there. So, and when I get hot, I see red, and I'm going. Like you, you, Yeah, you fuck said, you. Come to Texas, honestly, bitch. If you hadn't said that in that live, because I watch you. Asshole. I, I wouldn't have went live that night. That was the tipping point. Like I yeah. told you this morning. Sure yeah, it was. was it for me. I was like, okay, shots fired. Look at this UWB or whatever he calls himself. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I, this guy, dude, this UDM comes across like he's such a, fu- I don't know what is, babe, but these both, they're, they're fucking, these both, can you believe they're fathers, both of these idiots? And they, you know, I know because they fucking said it. But can you imagine, like, UDM's your dad and Pedro's your dad? Jesus fucking Christ. Where's the Grand Canyon? I need to fucking drive my car off of it. Holy shit. These are grown men bickering behind a fucking camera on YouTube because they can't get a real job. They can't figure out how to make money in the real world. And they're relying on table scraps from fucking loser, stupid people that subscribe. And they're relying on Google that can immediately just fucking end their channel today. And they're driving for DoorDash. Wow. Wow. Losers. And I'm going one step further. Anybody subscribes to these fucking idiots and is still motherfucking door dashing, grub hubbing, Uber Eats, or whatever the fuck else, Insta crapping, whatever the fuck you want to call it, in 2022, and you haven't moved on. The pandemic was a fucking blimp. That's what fucking drove this fucking whole industry up. If you're still doing that in 2022, you are a motherfucking loser. Mark my word. And these two are the fucking head losers, and everybody that subscribes to their channels listens to them, gets in in the peanut gallery talk and all that other bullshit. You're fucking idiots. Your life has failed you and chewed you up and spit you out, and I don't feel sorry for you. You're a bunch of jerk-offs riding a wave that has fucking flattened out. That's it. That's the easiest way to describe it. Bro, you don't want, like, I'm going to go nuclear. And I did it, right? And that's, and that's what I did. And I'm not going to take that back. Right. That, yeah, that's how I felt in that moment. Right. Like that's that's what I felt like I needed. Puerto to do. Ricans don't apologize. It's a weak either. move. Some would say. Right. Yeah, you because think that's not how a man should react. No one ever accused you of that. I should have just picked the phone up and said, dude, let's yell at each other for a minute. What's really happening? Here? Yeah, but you didn't. You're a little girl and you're an emotional wreck. You're you, you, you're 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 driven by your gut reaction to everything. 
your therapist probably went over that with you and your fucking uh your sponsor that sits in the back seat that you pay him to drive around and then he coaches you and what to say you know your stupid little fucking uh, you know camera shaking videos yeah he knows it but you just you don't get it you don't get it dude but i did i'm a flawed human being i didn't do that i went i went road i went solo <laughs> I went, I saw red, like I said, I saw those few sentences together and I was like, well, why is he implying? Because that's how I look at it. And where I come from, like, you don't, you just don't bring up that stuff in that kind of way. That's how I look at it. That's my perspective on that. If that, you know, and we talked, I told you the same thing. Where this he morning. comes from. You know what I'm saying? Unbelievable. And it was like, you know, yeah, some would say I was in my feelings. That's, it is what it is. I don't care. People, people are going to have opinion. I'm telling you exactly how I felt. Why, when I read that. And then to put the Peter goes in me, it's like a low blow. That that's how I look at it, because that's like it's just there's a there's a history there too, you know. And and that's something that is. Uh... Shut the fuck up. We I heard enough of them. So that's it. That's the fucking spots where I mentioned in this dumb, dramatic, girl ass fucking whiny video. This is like what teenagers do on the basketball court. When they're like fucking 13, they whine like this. This is what girls do. But you motherfuckers are grown adults and you're fathers and you're doing this. Wow. More power to you, motherfuckers. More power to you. But, so I got to thank Wes for, 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 for sending me this because it's, it was fucking funny. I had a good time. I'm actually low on a drink. I should go uh, pour another one before I finish off with what I'm about to finish off with. Hang on one second. All right, we're back. For the final stretch here of the podcast that got resurfaced. I was drawn out of retirement. And it all it takes is this money. I know you like, you know, there's the, the section out there that likes a group of people that likes me shitting on this guy. And, you know, they're entertained. So I'm going to give it my best shot to finish up here. And I, I, I thought about this for a minute because I, you know, there, there's other shit on his channel about somebody sent me this crap about how he's talking about the clowns and. You know, I'm mentioning this, but there's other people out there that he's mentioning that fucking hate this guy with a passion. They're always shitting on him, and he's like, no, I, I'm, I'm positive, Pedro. I got my stupid gig conference. Oh, that's another thing. How about that stupid fucking gig conference that he has coming up? What? I, I heard somebody tell me about that, too. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But then I'm like, this is actually kind of fucking funny. Can you imagine what that's going to be like? These fucking loser degenerates that are driving DoorDash from all over the country are going to blow. They're going to have to work for a month. And they're... <laughs> think, picture this. These idiots are like, oh, Pedro's throwing a gig conference. I might learn thing, something. I made... I, everybody's going to go there so they can fucking perfect their pickup drop-off routine. Okay? But imagine that. They're going to have to be like, no, nah, they're going to tell their fucking wife or girlfriend or kid, no, nah, I'm not going to be able to, you know, uh, contribute this month. I got a DoorDash straight so I can afford the plane ticket in the hotel to go see this fucking asshole in person and get his autograph. Yeah. that that And then, and imagine what this fucking thing's going to be like. Uh, Matt, you know, he's going to get all these fucking jerk-offs like UDM, these, these you know, that, that Revenge of the Nerd asshole, m uh, Mushy Moo with the, the, the guy with the shits. And everything, and and you imagine that he maybe rents out the local Holiday Inn in the ghetto, and he gets a fucking real, he gets like a crack pipe deal, and and it's like okay, then this room we're gonna have at one o'clock, we're gonna have how to how to perfect your pick off drop off routine, and then and then Mushi Moo's gonna be lead, leading a uh, what what do you call it like a fucking conference uh, upstairs in the in the main ballroom about how to adjust your camera. Uh, when you walk up to the fucking customer and then you piss them off and you invade their privacy and then just so you can run back to your car and and upload it to your YouTube channel and that way you can get clicks and likes. He's, he, he'll give a whole fucking conference on that. And then Tanner Markley will show up and, you know, like he'll, him and Pedro, I think, have a fucking, like a homoerotic thing going on. After they go up and they fuck in the goddamn uh, hotel room, they're going to come down and, they, you know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, like they'll, they'll be smoking cigarettes like, yeah. And I, I guarantee you, Pedro is going to, you know, Tanner probably will be the, the top and Pedro will be the bottom. Tanner will put it in his ass. Like, I don't know. I'm just, just Pedro strikes me as a girl. So anyway, and then can you imagine all this, these stupid jerk offs from like middle America and the fucking, you know, the, the projects of society, like that fucking black guy, uh, that what, what, what's his name? That, that, that jerk off from New York that has that stupid channel 
Oh, I can't remember his fucking name. He's so he's such he's a big lip fucking moron. What's his name? I don't even know. You can't remember all these. Stu- I, it shows how much he's important to me. But anyway, can you imagine this thing. Degenerates, the losers of society will be. Oh my God! Now we're I, for that weekend. I know where this conference is in St. Louis. Pretty much, the lower rung of society will all be gathered and huddled there, learning how they can, you know, be positive and you know, be door dashers for life like uber douche. So hilarious shit. I can't wait to fucking have somebody send me something about that. But oh my god, that's something to be ridiculed for for ages. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, back to what we were gonna end this with. This fucker thinks. Number one, that I called him and I cranked him, which I didn't do, and I, I ridiculed his daughter. Well, Pedro, I guarantee I'm going to get you. Listen up, motherfucker. You're not cured. You're not. And I'm going to fucking really fucking wind you up right now. Listen to me very closely. You are a fucking shitbag father. I pity your kids. That little girl you have with your high school fucking girlfriend that you won't marry... And that high school girlfriend I heard for the, through the grapevine that you went and you trolled. She's like 25 years younger than you. you. You plucked her out of high school and you knocked her up. Okay. And then you have a kid. Okay. And then it's like, wow, kids having kids. So then what I, what I recommend you doing and listen to me and listen to me closely. You walk that little fucking kid. She probably could walk right now. And I feel sorry for her. I really do. But you and your high school girlfriend walk that kid down to the fucking local services uh, department, you know where you turn the kids in if you don't want to, if you want to just put them up for adoption. I really think that that's what you should do, Pedro, because you and that high school girlfriend of yours—it's unbelievable that you two are fucking allowed to be parents. This is the problem in the world. You guys should walk that little girl down. What's her name? Uh, Ruby Tuesday or something? I don't know what the fuck it is. It's some kind of dumb name that they named the kid. And that kid's going to get beat up for that, for a name like that. I remember my fucking, my, my wife had a dog named Ruby. I'm not even joking. She had a dog named Ruby. But, uh, fucking, you walk the kid down hand in hand. Picture this. It's like a, a, a like a scenario. They're walking in there and they're like, well, here you go. They, they give her to the fucking, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? Like the social worker. And then, and then the kid's like, well, no, daddy, mommy. And then they're like, no, we're doing you a favor. We are fucking addicts. We're degenerates. You know where we come from. And she, no, no, don't leave me. And and and, and Pedro is like, I've got to do it. i got to do it. i got to stop this because I am no good. I am going to be no good for you. I mean, you fucking already look like me. That's a fucking death sentence right there. But you're gonna, you're, your life is going to be fucked up. I'm sorry. you got to go. You know, you get some nice white family in the suburbs with money that can raise you. And then the kid's young enough, she's going to grow up and somebody's going to take care of her and then, you know, she'll forget about you. And that's the best thing for the world. She'll get over it, but she's young enough that she'll, you know, she'll be looking you up, knocking on your door when you're when she's 18. And then you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember you. I remember when I did that. And th- this guy will still be jacking off the porn. He'll still be delivering DoorDash at 65. And he'll probably dump the current high school girlfriend he's with and he'll have a, I don't know, he'll probably have to pay a, I don't know, I don't know how this guy gets pussy. He must have something on her. I don't know, he maybe bailed her out or something because she was like slinging crack. I don't know what, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. Nobody knows. But that's what I think should happen. If you're a real good father, I mean, if you're a father, you care about your kid, you should just give it up. You should just walk her to the social worker so a nice white family in the suburbs can get her in a good school, raise her, and do the right thing. Imagine, and I heard he's got an older daughter. Like, remember he said she's like 19? She's probably like 21, 22 now. She's a fuck, they're fucking adult. She's an adult, okay? So I can fucking hammer on the adult, okay? You imagine that? She's half Puerto Rican and half whatever. I guarantee you this fucking chick is in St. Louis somewhere. It, whether she talks to fucking door douche or not still is beyond me. Probably if she's smart, she wouldn't. But I guarantee you she's at some strip club right now with her top off, sitting on some fucking fat-ass sweaty biker, shaking her fucking tatas and getting fucking dollar bills stuffed in her G-string. Guaranteed, that's his adult daughter. Th- these are the kind of people these fucks like this raise. They, these fuckers don't know they, should, they are fucked up, so they should not reproduce. 
Because all they're going to do is, fu- is reproduce other fucked up people. And those fucked up people are going to reproduce other fucked up people. And on goes the spiral. Stop having kids, you fucking losers. That's all I'm going to say. With that being said, Pedro, I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you could point the camera on your fucking face so I could see how red you're getting. But it, but like I said, like I said, remember when you drew first blood? If you got a fucking problem with anything I'm saying, come to Texas, man. Come to Texas. I will accept your challenge. Remember that challenge that you made to me that you you pushed out on and you thought I was going to forget it? Well, you know, you get when you when you drink and you and you have to respond when you're getting you know you're, you're getting you're getting mentioned in videos and it's a bunch of bullshit. You know, this is what happens, Pedro. Maybe you ought to learn to fucking shut your fucking mouth. Maybe you ought to do that. But you haven't learned it, so the onslaught is going to continue. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the fucking podcast today, the poopcast. And uh, maybe someday there will be more. Just, 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 Just send me the video, and I'll be happy to fucking run my mouth. Because this is the mouth of the South signing off again. Go fuck yourselves out there. Until next time. This is Peter Gozinia. Suck a bag of fucking Peter dicks.